Guys, we have a problem because I literally have to poop my pants. Please remind me never to drink that much caffeine again in one day. I need to eat something because I'm starting to feel loopy, loopy, loopy. Kids, don't do caffeine at home. Today we are going to well-known coffee shops such as Dunkin', Starbucks, Tim Hortons to ask the one question, who has the best fall drink of 2024? Let's go find out. I'm at Dunkin'. There's one rule, I can't order anything that's not coffee. I got the drinks, here they are in all their glory. Do I feel bad that there was one worker? Yes. And don't you guys worry one bit because I did tip her a really nice tip. First up, we have a regular pumpkin spice latte. This has two pumpkin swirl, and I thought it would come with like whipped cream and some nutmeg, but I guess it doesn't come with any of that. I just imagine this is how they make it pretty standard. Let's give it a try, I guess. I know that I'm going to be bouncing off the walls when this video is done, so. <laughs> what can I say? Let's give it a little taste. I just have to say right now, I'm not really a huge fan of pumpkin spice. It's very, very sweet, but it's not like an overbearing amount of pumpkin that it's like, bam, that's the taste. I can get behind this. A lot of these coffees really are just sugary and mostly like milk and sugar for the most part. It just doesn't have enough coffee. Here's the second iced coffee I got. This is released for fall as well. It is an almond spice coffee. It has two pumpkin swirls and two toasted almond shots, which I am a fan of Dunkin's toasted almonds, so I feel like I might like this. And it has almond milk, and it's just an iced coffee. It's not a latte with espresso. I'm pretty excited to try this because when I go to Dunkin, I usually just get iced coffee, so maybe I'll have a new favorite. You know what? I think it has just way too much almond in it. If I just got it with like regular half and half, maybe I would like it a little bit better, but that almond taste really just overpowers everything. What were you expecting with an iced coffee that's called almond spice? You dumb bitch. All right, we got our last drink and this is a small cold brew. It has two pumpkin swirl and some cold foam on top. I'm excited to try this. I'm gonna take a sip without a straw. I realize I keep changing positions. I'm sorry. I'm trying to get like the best angle, but it's not working that great. I'm gonna take a sip without a straw. <sighs> oh man. That is so good. I'm a huge fan of Dunkin' cold brews. Whenever they release a cold brew drink, like the s'mores one from summer, I'm all over that baby. Mm. So it's like a marshmallow cold foam with some graham cracker pieces on top. Gonna swirl the cold foam in though. I know, I know, it defeats the whole purpose of the drink, but I'm sorry, it just has to be done. Going to try it all mixed in now. Has a lot of the pumpkin at the bottom and I'm liking the pumpkin flavor at Dunkin' so far, so definitely better sipping it from the top. This is really bad because my first instinct is to just down this. I, this has to be probably my favorite out of the three. Um, guys, we have a problem. I should have gotten somebody else to do this challenge with me because there's no way I'm drinking all of these iced coffees unless I want more of a double chin and to just be the most hyper person on the face of the planet. I'm already hyper without caffeine. And then the second one's gonna be a tall iced pumpkin spice latte. I am a Starbucks barista, but I botched ordering that so hard. So I got the drinks here and we got a little bit of presentation going on. So 10 out of 10 there, looking beautiful, looking great. I'm really excited to try these. I can't just get my camera to stay. That ended up being such an expensive trip to Starbucks because First up, we have a tall iced pecan oat milk latte with some non-dairy cold foam on top with some pecan crunchies. I've actually never tried this as a Starbucks barista. They just released it on October 1st, so I'm gonna try it now. Whoa. <laughs> 
whoa the way my nose just stung it is it is really sweet. The non-dairy cold foam kind of melted, so I wasn't able to sip it from the top by the time I parked. Ooh, I'm making a mess. But wow, that is sugar in a cup. Oh, and a bug just landed on me. Be free, little bug. I just flicked it. It definitely tastes like buttery, buttery pecans. That's all I, that's how I can explain it. Next up, we have apple crisp. It's usually made with blonde espresso, but I got it decaf. It has oat milk, shots of espresso on top with some caramel apple spice drizzle on the bottom. I've spent way too much on coffee today for this video. Here we go. If I mix in the espresso shots to be like a latte instead of a macchiato, this is way better hot and on a cool day. It is just great to drink, but right now it's like 80 degrees for some reason in Rochester, New York, when at this time of the year, it's usually like below 40. Don't know what's going on with that. I love the flavor. I'm not excited about this one. As you can probably tell, this is just a regular tall pumpkin spice iced latte. Not too excited about this one. <laughs> The taste I just got from this was not what I was expecting. It tastes like burnt sticks on a campfire. Is that weird to say? This tastes like how I would smell after a campfire. It's roasting s'mores and burning the tips of the, the sticks that you stick your s'mores onto. Is it a good taste? No, it's not. It it tastes chemically to me. I just don't like it. Look at all the straw wrappers that I have in this car now. My car is filled with coffee drinks. You wanna know something that's really weird? I don't like pumpkin spice at Starbucks, but I love the pumpkin cream cold brew. I hate the flavor in a latte. Don't know what it could be. Don't know if it's the way the milk mixes with the pumpkin. So as you can probably tell, this is a pumpkin cream cold brew. Who knows? Maybe I like the Dunkin' one better. We'll see. But <laughs> This is like shocking me. I can't even believe I'm saying this. I think I like Duncan's cold brew better. And I'm not just talking about like the pumpkin. I think I'm just talking about the cold brew in general. I think I like the way the Duncan one tasted a little bit better, even if it had no cold foam on top. This is not my favorite. At least it's not my favorite at the moment. Sometimes it depends on who's making the drinks. So far, the only one I've actually had the whole way through is the pumpkin cream cold brew from Duncan. That might be a winner. I went through Duncan. I went through Tim Hortons because there were two drinks that I wanted to try on their fall menu. One is a caramel apple spice latte. Yeah, caramel apple spice latte. And the other one is a maple sugar. The problem is I have no idea which one is which because they had no stickers on them. So I, I don't know which one's which. So we'll try this one first and see what happens. So far, Tim Hortons is not doing a great job with presentation or just being good in general. I don't really like Tim Hortons anyways. I'd be really surprised if this ended up being like one of my favorite fall drinks. My eyes are bugging out. My eyes are going all over the place. Kids, don't do caffeine at home. It's bad for you. Wait till you're an adult. Let's see how the Tim Hortons latte tastes. Don't know which one this is. I'm gonna try my very best to tell. I have no fun. I'm gonna go with caramel apple latte. That's what I'm gonna go with. It does taste like apple. Doesn't seem like there's any drizzle or anything to it. It's not bad. It tastes like the apple crisp macchiato from Starbucks. Just a cheaper version of it. Also, Tim Horton Smalls are very big, but they actually look like the size of Dunkin's. Now that I'm thinking about it, working at Starbucks makes me realize that our Smalls are very small. This is a Tim Horton Small, and this is a Starbucks Small. Now look at them from side to side. There's a huge difference in my opinion. 
There's someone in that car next to me and they're staring at me. Next we have the maple brown sugar iced latte. I'm imagining this is what it is because the other one was the apple. I didn't get three Timmy Ho drinks, so this one is definitely mm, the maple sugar. Now I'm very interested in trying the maple sugar because Tim Hortons is the only place that has a maple sugar, so let's try it. I am trying to force it down. Guys, I have to shit. If I don't get home right now to go to the bathroom, I am literally going to <coughs> my pants. I am going to poop my pants. My car is officially caffeinated and so am I. Guys, this is actually insane. I've never ordered this much coffee in my entire life. This is over. Actually, I'm not gonna tell you how much I spent on this video, so this is literally over. Uh, you know what? Never mind. It smells like a petting zoo in here with the way that coffee just made me go to the bathroom. So let's get rid of it once and for all. Cause sometimes I look in her eyes and I can catch a glimpse of us or whatever the words are. Oh, this one's the caramel apple spice from Tim Hortons. Bye, bye, bye. All right, one tray of coffee dumped down the drain. I hate you, pumpkin. I hate you. Die down the drain. I feel like I'm going to get a lot of hate comments about dumping down the coffees, but by the time I got home, nobody would want to drink these. Promise me, because I filmed this video all in one day. So believe me, they're gross and no one, nobody would drink these. I think we have a winner. It is the pumpkin spice cold brew from Dunkin' with a cold foam on top. I don't know what it is, but this has just taken over my life, taken over my heart. I think this is the drink of the season. When it's made right.